Welcome to another episode of Business Tech Unraveled. I'm your host, Zakia Ringgold, where the goal of our podcast is to really help you to demystify some of the tech behind growing your business online. Now, imagine a virtual space where learning isn't confined to just the regular four walls or your typical Zoom meeting, but rather a dynamic and interactive experience. That's exactly what we're going to be exploring today. In the heart of this episode, we have a special guest joining us. He's the visionary behind the platform that has redefined the way that we teach, interact, and learn online. The founder of Go Brunch, Mr. Richard Lowenthal. Richard, thank you so much for being here with us today. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much for inviting and having me, Zakia. It's a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> you are very welcome. Now, for our audience, um, if you're not already familiar, Go Brunch, uh, it is a treat that you are going to really love today. This isn't your average Zoom room experience. So as an educator, I've had the privilege of using Go Brunch to interact with my students in ways that I never thought possible. So in our live soap school, we created a unique virtual space, but it was several spaces. So whether you're a professional seeking virtual co-working space, an event organizer, or simply intrigued by the potential of online connectivity, this is the podcast for you. Richard, would you be able to get us started by uncovering the inspiration behind Go Brunch? Absolutely. Well, I think, you know, the main reason I, why I, am cre I created Go Brunch is because I kind of was feeling lonely. And this was, I think, back to 2014. And mm -hmm. again, we, I, I was working in an office. But I remember coming back home and saying, hey, you know what? There should be a way for me to connect with my friends or everyone else in an easier way, more interactive way. And I remember that I was browsing different platforms, the different you know, metaverses in the early stages. And I found some interesting uh, perspectives and I was thinking, hey, maybe I can just take this idea and take to a more professional level. Yeah. And in terms of inspirations, I think, you know, what really inspired me was I had this vision of, you know, mixing LinkedIn with the metaverse. But I think I remember that I had a, a top view perspective that I, I think I probably got from poker stars. Oh. Like poker stars, I have the top view and you can see all the players. And I think that was the main inspiration for the visual part of it. And, but yeah, and, and then, you know, I was attending a lot of webinars and I was a little bit, um, you know, why, why this is boring, right? I don't even know if these people here are here or not. And I was just <laughs> thinking, hey, how can we just gather people with, with, you know, that like similar topics and start discussing something in a more casual way? Yeah. And that was the beginning. Oh, wow. Wow. And I, that's really interesting that you took something that you were seeing on the poker stars and said, hey, how can it, that top you infusing into your vision of what you wanted to create? I think that's I think that's interesting about how people can mix almost mixed media to create something that's completely new and different and innovative, I think. So I think, yeah, there's, I think there's something to be said about that. Yeah, I think every time we create something, it's always based on a vision that you have. Yeah. Sometimes for our, you know, from our childhood or sometimes it's just like, you know, come from our dreams. But yeah. Yeah. It's uh, in this case, I think, yeah, I just mix it a lot of stuff in my mind. And that's how I came up with the, you know, the initial idea of Gulf Brunch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up Go Brunch because we've talked about it at a pretty high level of where, but I think seeing it is what will really help people to understand what we're describing and not your average virtual experience, but an, a complete immersive experience. So let's go ahead and go into Go Brunch. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up there. And for all of you that are watching the podcast, because it will be published on our um, several video channels, 
you can actually see here, but we will try and speak through it for those that are listening on the audio podcast. But what I liked about it when I was first exploring it was coming to the website because it was very clear on, hey, you already see that it's something different. It's uh, it kind of feels like you're in the space that like you're physically there, even though you're not. So that was something that initially sold me very, very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right. So once we're logged in, we're brought into our space. So I'm going to just go into one of my spaces and then Richard, can you just kind of talk to us a little bit about it? Yeah, definitely. Well, I, again, I think you're already mastering Go Branch, right? Because you have a lot of spaces. Yeah. But yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the idea that we have is uh, enable you to create any kind of space that you have in mind. And there are, you know, the six particular use cases that you can use here, like for meetings, for creating co-working spaces, which is the main one that we have seen people using it. Co-working space, there, there are, let's say, two, two different examples here. The first one is imagine that you have your office, your virtual office, and you can have your team members' offices inside the same space, just like a building, just like a headquarters. But the second example that we have seen a lot of people using, especially for content creators, are to gather community members. Many mm. times, you know, we, we are, you know, with, within many, we, we are subscribed to many communities. And many times it's kind of boring for us just to get like a feed. And many times we want to connect with different members. And here, the idea that we, we, we had based on, you know, one of you, our users started using this way is, hey, I have my, my room open 24-7 and my members can join at any time. Wow. And this was, you know, I think what, you know, pivoted us to this new um, perspective where people can use not only for a specific session, but it's like an open, a open room when, uh, that can, can be like business uh, working hours or, you know, you can use whenever you want. But yeah, and uh, this is the co-working space. You, you can definitely get way more engagement than just like the traditional feed. And inside your space, it can be your co-working space. In addition to that, you can have your classroom, you can have events, you can have webinars, and you can have showcase, which is, let's say you have an art gallery or you have a interior, interior design for, you know, photos and you want to showcase all of them, you can just add inside your space. Wow. And, you know, you saying that just now and walking through those different use cases in the spaces that are just kind of pre-configured, it goes back to what you said in terms of initially you were lonely. So, hey, why not have a space where people can come in, right? And That's then as right. you were talking about the showcase, I was thinking about even real estate agents, right? If they could showcase or um, have the spaces for the houses that they're showing. That could be another way of maybe meeting someone virtually that's interested in the space or in mm -hmm. the real estate and actually seeing it and kind of being in the space and talking to someone. So that's a, that's another one for that showcase. You're absolutely right. Yeah, we have seen some people doing that. It's really cool for you know joining real estate and, and seeing like, because it's not 3D. Yes, mm -hmm. 3D is very, this is one of the main principles that I had since since the beginning. I, did, I didn't I did want 3D because I, I'm the kind of guy that feel a little bit dizzy when I'm in a 3D, <laughs> 3D space, like moving over here and there. But here it's super simple. And again, I think the experience is very, very, very um, simplified for, for a very comfy experience. And we have seen real estate, uh, some people using as, you know, if you're, car dealer you can just show a picture of your car and then click on the engine to you know get a focus on it there are many uh, different use cases that we are you know seeing from our users okay so what i'll do is i'll go into my spaces and you you're giving you said almost mastered it but i was only able to do that because you offered a certification program it was a two-part program where you really had us think through what was the type of space that we wanted to create so before I go into my space, can you tell us a little bit about that? Because I think that also speaks to you as a founder and how you are attempting to make sure that your users 
are capable of creating these kind of immersive spaces in the thought process behind it. So can you talk a little bit about the Go Brunch certification? Yeah, sure. Um, I think one of the challenges when we are dealing with technology is to educate the users. And Go Brunch can be used for a simple meeting, like imagine just a, repl a replacement of a traditional meeting platform. But what you wanted to encourage our users is how to use in a more advanced way and create amazing spaces and unleash their creativity. And that's why we created our, our Go Brunch certification program that allows a lot of you know, different experiences. Uh, pretty much we divide it in two parts. The first one is we teach people how to plan their spaces, mm -hmm. just like an architect. If you're designing your space, you need some planning. And that's what we did in, in the designing stage. We, we provide a template and then people can just start planning what they, they are, they are, you know, they, they are thinking in adding inside of it. And the second stage is like, okay, now we are here and I wanted to see you creating your space mm -hmm. and we're going to provide the best guidance that we can. Perfect. Perfect. And I, I must say, I'm going to go ahead and sit. So I went into our Suds and Lather Lounge and this was kind of the space that I created around having a place where people could come and kind of interact. And this is where I leverage the um, power of AI. I, I use chat GPT to generate a prompt to go to mid journey for it to create a space based on what it was that I was giving it. So this is a mid journey image wow. that I was able to put in here. Yeah, again, and this is what is amazing, right? Because we have seen, I think probably you are, you know, you're mastering AI for creating images. And I'm not an expert in, in, in generating images using AI. And I usually use like image banks or just try to create something by myself. But, you know, I'm super willing to learn with you how you did that because it's amazing. Yeah, I just figured AI could probably tell me the right way to write the prompt that another AI in terms of mid journey would be able to do it. But I'll be sure to share those prompts and then everyone in the Go Brunch community could use them to build out their spaces. But let's talk about what we're seeing in this space. So um, I, I have taken a seat here, but can you tell us about the kind of layout of this and, and why someone would use it? Yeah, it, again, I think one of the main benefits in Go Brunch is the ability for you to start a session but you don't have to end the session. And again, many times we have 30 minutes meetings and we feel like the pressure, right? Oh, okay, bye guys. And then it's over. And you feel kind of, you know, depending what you have to do next, you feel like, okay, what, what should I do next? But here you can extend this working hours or ex extend this commitment that you previously have. And I had a session today, which it was like, with uh, Peggy MacArthur, she was teaching uh, photography and oh, how, how, to, how she's using GoBranch for training people on you know, and encouraging people to how to get best headshots. And at the end of the session was kind of, you know, a magical moment because everyone was networking and connecting with each other with no pressure of timing. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, this kind of environment that reflects your personality, right? Your colors um, in the certification program. I remember that I, you know, by checking their, their spaces, it's just like visiting your house. And we can easily understand your preferences you can easily understand you know a, a little bit more about you and i i think it reflects your personality and that's what is really magical and you feel way more comfortable because it's just like sitting on your house you know you i mean your living room in your, at your house yeah absolutely and so this is the main entry point and i love what you said about the magical moments so when we're crafting these experiences or these places and people are here, there is no pressure to hurry up and leave. It kind of feels like, oh, we're, we're just having a conversation. And the nice thing about this is I should just talk about what is within the screen for those who can't visually see it, because I have to remember it is a podcast. It is a complete room where you can choose where you want to sit by simply clicking on any of the circles that are there. You have the ability to turn your microphone on. 
your camera on. You can even share your screen. And you also have the ability to record right from within the session. Additionally, you have a chat box. So if you just want to type some things in, maybe you want to share a link with attendees, you can put that in there as well. And then you can also see a listing of all of the attendees that are participating within the session. You also can see the name of the room that you're in, as well as kind of like a directory of all rooms within the space. So right now we're in my Suds and Lather Lounge. I'm gonna take this over to our co-working space, which is known as our Bubble Hub. And this one is a little more um, traditional in terms of like the coffee shop feel. And yeah. that's what you get a chance to create with this. You can add for if you wanna keep it small and intimate to two. Is there a maximum room size, Richard, for the spaces? I, I'm not sure that I've hit it. Uh, we because school brunch initially was used by you know for webinar purposes. We did have we did create a did create some some rooms for uh, larger audiences, and the largest one is a auditorium for six hundred people. Okay, right. And inside your space, let's say you have like a very special event at some point with a lot of followers, subscribers, and all your community members together, and then you can use this space for this room in particular for for your session absolutely and so i'm just going to scroll through just to show a few of them i also created the soap flicks theater <laughs> and the idea behind this was i was able to embed some um youtube videos in there you can kind of sit down on the couch so once i have a seat you have the ability to play and that's just an embed so talk about that you have the ability to embed other items within your spaces. So tell us about that. Yeah, uh, by the time that we, you know, we, we were just trying to imagine, okay, people want to customize, people want to play with customizations. And I had an idea, okay, we need to create a Photoshop for customizing the room, something really easy. And because people want freedom, we were thinking, okay, let's give the ability for them to embed anything they want. And then we created this embedding tool where you can embed YouTube videos or you can embed music or playlists. Some people are embedding call, call to action buttons. You can embed, uh, yeah, calendars. I think, you know, there, there are many different possibilities here, like agendas that you can, yeah, explore once you are embedding, right? And, I can see here the right side of the embedded pro this is I think it's a Canva design. It is. And I learned that right. in the certification training. That's right. Yeah. Many you know, embedding a Canva design is super suitable because you can create menus like this one, or sometimes people are using for calendars. And yeah, yeah it's uh, it really uh again, it's we understand that we are using video conferencing in general for synchronous sessions. But we understand the best experience is when you blend a synchronous with asynchronous. And that's mm -hmm. what we have done here. Let's say I, I'm in, a, in your room, and even if you're not there, I can interact with your books, mm -hmm. which is really cool. I can even buy your book yep. once I'm waiting for you, right, for your meeting or even after <laughs> your meeting. And yeah, and I have this directory of rooms, right? I, I think, again, I, I had this metaverse vision in my mind, but something really easy that not necessarily you need like a special glasses for it. It has to be yeah. something easy for, you know, um, people to use on every single day. And yeah, it's nice that you have, have been using a lot of advanced features already. For sure. And I'm just going to click through some of them to show some of the additional tools. So we have like the bookshelf that Richard mentioned. And then there's also um, what we call the Lather Lounge. And this is where we've embedded a podcast. You can embed music. So if you just want a calming, soothing space, I kind of tried to make this into um, if I were to go to a spa and I was able to listen to some music, well, here are some maker's tales for you to listen to. Um, we also created the soap studio. And this one, it's not going to load because I disconnected it. But the live streams, when we go live, people who are in here would be able to watch those live streams. So let me come back here. 
there's also the auditorium, what you, what you were mentioning. So let's kind of do a quick demo. And this is kind of like if you were coming into a main space there. Let me take a seat. And I go to all rooms again. Then I have the office. I think that's the last one. But just kind of showing that there are different types of spaces that you can create. And this is more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of a space where people can sit and interact with me if I if we just wanted to have a quick conversation. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah, because you can use the circle cams. Yeah. And but yeah, many people I think, you know, sometimes you are tired and you don't want to turn on your camera. Mm -hmm. And many of your environments, you don't have to do that. You just need to keep your audio and you just turn turn on your mic and you ask a question. And that's what we have we have seen in many different communities. Like they, they use only their pictures and many times they just need to ask a question or make a comment and or, you know, again, uh, I think you probably have seen this community from uh, Marisa from Creator Rules. Yes. And what, what was interesting is that I, I usually say like, it, it seems like many times a hair salon, like you have a lot of, right? Because you yeah. have a lot of interesting conversations happening all the time. And people don't want to miss it, right? And they are just there for body doubling, which is this new concept for you to, you know, get accountability and, and commit on something during a specific time. But yeah, it's it's really nice that you don't have this pressure for turning on your camera. You just need to hit your mic, start speaking. And uh, yeah, once it's over, you turn it off, but you can keep you know, feeling the energy around you. Absolutely. And I think that goes back to your point about those magic moments. I think I'm going to take that away. Like, how can you help to create an environment for those magical moments? And I think I think Go Brunch definitely uh, checks the box for that. So now coming out of Go Brunch, what types of events and communities does Go Brunch um, cater to? Right, right now, I would say the main two use the main use cases that we have are Usually content creators in general and small entrepreneurs, they have, you know, many times they have a community, but they are struggling to engage with their members. Mm -hmm. And this is the number one. Number two is there are many companies, uh, especially startups, that they are struggling to get engagement with their team members. And not all co companies are have this kind of culture, right? It's just a matter of culture. And and some companies, they are using GoBrunch as a 24-7 office. Mm. And it's and I have been using myself with my team members. And I will say the benefits are really, really, you know, it, they're abnormals. Because first of all, I was using like, you know, only messaging systems before. Mm -hmm. It was getting very, very bureaucratic in a sense oh. that I have to tag someone and say, hey, um did you do that or uh what what is your opinion about this and sometimes we have to schedule a meeting and if you with more one more, more than one person okay how about tomorrow like it, it's like okay this is kind of you know just breaks the culture or breaks the momentum that you have for starting a conversation yeah. what i can do right now and that's how many companies have been using is i can just pop in in my team member's office and say, hey, um, you know what? I was thinking this, what do you think? Mm. And he's just, you know, fire, he fires his, his mic and we start a conversation. After that, if you need to, to invite more team members, what I do is I use the broadcast to our rooms feature. And I just say, hey, are you there? Yeah, can you join Gabriel's room for a moment? Because we are just, you know, I need your help here. And then he just, you know, joins our, our, our room and it's super, super easy for us to start a conversation. And sometimes we just open a, um, a mirror board and start yeah. collaborating, right? This is, but yeah, communities and virtual offices in summary are the two main use cases that we have. Communities and virtual. So what would you say are the key elements to make a successful event on Go Brunch? I think you started to hit on it a little bit about planning that experience. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that? What For those that have been really successful, why do you think yes. that was? 
I, I think the, fir the first step is you have to imagine Go Brunch as an extension of your house, just the way you did. Yeah. Because this will make you feel comfortable. And whenever you are working online on your computer, you have your Go Brunch room open. And if you need to speak with someone, you can, you know, quickly share your room link. And, you, you, and, and this person can join your room, which is, again, using the word magical, right? Because when was the last time you got like an expected visit? Yeah. But in Gold Branch, many times I have that. And I say, hey, I really not. And it's really not. I really see you today. How can I help you? Or, you know, what, do you, what are you working on? And yeah. it's super cool for, for having this moment. This is step number one. I think, yeah. And, and step number two is if you're planning to use as a community space, I know many people love to create a lot of rooms, but... For starting, I would say one, two, three rooms are more than enough. Yeah. Right? Because people tend to concentrate in one single room because they don't want to miss the main conversation that is going on. That's yeah. great advice. That's actually really, really good advice. So I went a little bit over on our time, but I always have a question. How can people actually get Go Brunch? Where should they go? And how can they stay connected with you if they have questions? What, what, how do they do that? Yeah, well, they, they can get it into our website. I, I don't know if you share the link, but yeah, feel free to share with them your link. And they can sign up with, with GoBrunch in the free version. The free version, you can try, a, you know, it, have, it has a some limits in terms of features, but you don't have limit of timing. And then you can have, you know, unlimited, unlimited time for your meetings for starting with GoBrunch. And once you feel comfortable, you can definitely check the plans and see which would, which one is more suitable for your needs. And in addition to that, we have a lot of tutorials in our YouTube channel that you can check. It will teach you how to build your space. It will teach you how to start a meeting if you're used to a more traditional meeting. And third, you can always join one of our you know, daily demonstrations for just to you know just understand better your challenges, your business and already recommend how you can get the best of Go Brunch for your particular use case. Thank you so much. And I will put links to all of those resources right in the show notes. But Richard, thank you so much for number one, having the vision to say, I want to top you, and then having the tenacity to go out and build a tool like Go Brunch that does really create those magical moments. And thank you for sharing your insights on Business Tech Unraveled. I really appreciate, you know, being here. Thank you for, for the invitation. Thank you for having me. And yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>